on the flip side, 49ers lose to the Chiefs again. They had in 2020, 10-point lead and loss. Just, what was it, yesterday, two days ago, uh, Kyle Shanahan fired Steve Wilkes. So they are now going to have their fourth defensive coordinator in five seasons. This year they were eighth in yards, third in points per game. And some would say the only reason why they were in the game in the Super Bowl was because of the defense. Mm. Was this the right move? And big picture, can Kyle Shanahan actually win the big game? I, I don't think it was. I don't, I don't think it was. I mean, I, I don't blame the defense for, um, you know, this guy, Shanahan, deciding to go go away from the run game out of nowhere in the middle of the game. It was working. They were getting yard, they were getting five, six yards in the temp. I know it probably doesn't come out to that if you look at the averages. I understand that the average might say something different, but the eye when I watched the game, McCaffrey was 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 killing him, especially early in the game before he had that fumble. And then even after you know, his run attempts, they got a bunch of yards um after that. So I I would be, you know, it was surprising to see that they let him go. But I mean, they, they need a scapegoat. I don't think that anyone's job was really in danger there. I don't think that Shanahan was in danger of losing his job. So firing your defensive coordinator just feels a bit reactionary to me and a bit like panic. You're panicking. Like, I don't understand why. But And, and I know you've lost the big game three times now, three times now, um, three different 10 point leads, which is tough. But the reason why you're not getting over the hump is because you're trying to throw the football and you want to win the game that way and get away from the run game. But, <laughs> you know, you have Brock Purdy. And 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 Brock Purdy played a good game. He was it's not the re, he's not the reason they lost, but he missed throws down the stretch of that game that you know, like a great quarterback hits, and he's not a great quarterback. And he did it, he did a good enough job this season. He's a good player and everything, but that's just the reality of it. So it's hard to go up against Mahomes and miss easy throws, miss easy opportunities at, at critical stretches in the game. And then you're going to go away from what's working on top of it. Those things compounded. It wasn't defense. Defense wasn't the problem. Defense, they did a great job, I thought. They actually gave him home to fit and fits most of the game. He actually got going late. And if it weren't for that the, the punt that went over the guy over the guy's foot and they got that uh, recovery, they wouldn't even – they couldn't get good field position. They couldn't even get on the other side of the field and get in the red zone So up until that point. So, I mean, it, it's reactionary. It's, it's sad. But, you know, I guess Shanahan's trying to CYA. Cover his ass. Cover your ass. All right. It's all right. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I was confused why they fired him, too. Um, I feel like this job as the D.C. for the 49ers has been like a a stepping stone to like a head coaching gig. Like we saw Sala got it. Then D'Amico Ryan stepped in and he got a head coaching job. And I felt like Wilkes didn't do a bad job. I mean – you can look back at the Lions game and they gave up 24 points in the first half and and think, OK, maybe there were signs of some lapses in the defense. And then but in the Super Bowl, they, they played a great game plan. They had a great game plan going. And I think the game might even be different if Drake Greenlaw doesn't get hurt. So for them to a few days after the, the Super Bowl to fire the DC, it doesn't make sense. It's it's almost like someone's head had to roll and it's not going to be Kyle Shanahan because he's the head of the snake. So um, I think he feels like that's the most replaceable position on his coaching staff since he's probably the one calling plays and, and doing stuff like that. So, um, but you can't even really blame the DC. I feel like the offense didn't really – step up the way they should. Like, they have weapons. They got Debo, McCaffrey, Kittle, uh, Ayuk. Um, and, yeah, Purdy was missing some throws, but a lot of that was because Spags had a, a great game plan of timing the the rushes and making him feel uncomfortable at times. When they got away from the run and they were passing, like, even that last drive in overtime, those last two pressures basically won the Chiefs the game. So, yeah, I think it was a combination of things, but uh, the scapegoat had to be Wilkes, I guess. 